Taking on the Toronto Defiant Rose. We're here. And the crowd's most definitely here too to cheer on Toronto. Who gets jumped on, but Coach Gunned away. He's gonna save himself, but not for long. Checkmate doesn't have taken him down. So we jumble ball with someone who's building up towards that rampage. Checkmate really controlling the skies right now, just being a hell kite. Nothing you can do, although ends up staggering himself a little bit. Yeah, and they can kick things off with the sound barrier. Checkmate dives in with the blade. He's got a little bit of overhelp too. He's you trying to get away from him, but no, Checkmate ends up taking him down. He was sub 100 HP, but an instant beat from Surma. She had to keep them in the fight. Hopper attempted to turn that one around. We spoke about how Toronto Define always want to go, even if it's 3v5, 4v5, and even a spawn hold from the Florida Mayhem. He's the one that Widowmaker to try and get a shot because they need a pick right now. It's 5% before Florida Mayhem ended up taking round one. Someone's going to have to get there. Chorong trying to make his way in. Saul sneaky like no one's there. Will the Florida Mayhem even expect this? No, they will not. He's too straight to the back line. Just an easy shot onto Hydra. And another one too. He's too. Toronto to fight. Florida Mayhem escape from this. RuPaul has also activated his rally, but he had to run back to Spore because although was chasing him, someone could touch from the Florida Mayhem, but it's only Hydra on the point. An easy cleanup for although a two-man beat, but it's just the supports. The Toronto Defiant. They're not going to let Florida Mayhem get away with this one. Nope, they're going to they go ahead. up the rounds. <laughs> the supports in, but a beat isn't going to save you now, checkmate. Hisu is firing on all cylinders. The Toronto Defiant permanently hold this point. The Florida Mayhem thought they had it. RuPaul using the rally to keep him alive and someone on the point, but it can't be stopped. No, the just... Toronto Defiant War Machine is marching forward. Do spot him and he is pretty low, but he does trigger overtime. Checkmate. A 4v5 on the point as the Rampage comes out, but although... Although single-handedly, Taking care of the mayhem. He's pushing him, he's pushing him. Give him a little hand. He's you don't normally need it. All right, there's Checkmate, already down. Someone's touching the point. He's still got two supports at his back as the target priority right now for the Florida Mayhem is Hopper. But he uses that commanding shout. And now Hydron is in a little bit of trouble as although finishes him off. And the rest of the Florida Mayhem are gonna follow. And Choron keeping checkmate in check right now as both rallies have been used. 40 seconds now as the payload is inching forward. The rampage comes out and it hits four. A blade pulled by checkmate. Twilight quickly put to rest as the rest of the Toronto Defiant wondering what happened to their back line. Now have to make a decision. Do they go in or do they back off to the rest of their team? Looks like they want to go in. Choron can use that beat. He did use that beat. It's gonna keep him alive. And also Twilight's gonna be able to get back with the Ana too, with 14 seconds remaining. Oh, the dynamite from Hisu is good. The nade and the dynamite. Sermajet takes out Twilight, but now the bomb is on the field. And Toronto Defiant still have a blade to use. Although he's just cutting him to shreds. Hydron is the last member of the Toronto Defiant left standing as RuPaul does come back on the Ana, but no one can touch in time. Singing through a couple of people. All oh, the beats from Choro. They're going to keep themselves in. Baldo doesn't get the overshield. Oh no. Chorong let the go of that beat. He was hoping that although using the... He's just going to be able to come back in time and it's all up to all those blades. He's 10% away, but they have to deal with this rampage. It hits all though and Hopper as Hopper takes care of RuPaul, but the health bar's dwindling. The hopes of the mayhem sky high right now as the Toronto Defiance cannot hold them on this last point. A two minute time bank. What? Oh my god. All right. Toronto Divine happens to fight a, a little four on four now. Oh, checkmate. Although it's still doing work to be fair, but they got no heals. Oh, checkmate can just fart these people for free. Yeah, low HP. Hopper dead. Florida Mayhem take map number two. But really looking forward to trying to get a 3-4 anti onto Florida. Easy could open this one up as well with that railgun. There it is. However, a five-man anti from someone. That rampage hitting everybody on Defiant. Hook, line, and sinker. Look, already though, where was the heels? Hytron ends up going down. Goodbye, checkmate. RuPaul running for the hills. What a fantastic play by Although. 
Descendants heals everybody up through that Dragon Blade damage, but someone is pretty low on the sidelines. In fact, Checkmate is maybe overstood a little bit. My mistake, sorry, that was Shoron. He takes a headshot, and Hydron just cleaning up a beautiful sleep from RuPaul. Takes care of all those, and with overtime in existence, the Florida Mayhem hold Defiant just before that second point. Toronto Defiant. Hey, are they going to let the payload go in? Of course they're not. Two and a half meters to go, but Hopper just dispatched. Same with Twilight. And look how safe RuPaul and so much yet are in the background, Rose. It's been so hard for all those to get any damage done as there's now five minutes in that time back. And they do Chorong needs this beat ASAP. The blade is pulled by Checkmate. He's looking for targets. He has the transcendence. He cannot die. And neither do the rest of the mayhem. A quick and clean, decisive circuit royale. They're going to capture this first point. I don't think anybody from Florida can actually get back here before this bot enters the mode. But wait a minute. Can RuPaul shield match forward? He and goes down to Twilight. RuPaul's ult gets completely cancelled by Twilight. That checkpoint is Toronto's. That overclock. It does hit the collapse. A double rampage. There's a lot of people anti. Someone at RuPaul take care of Twilight and Hisu Ball, though, is still alive and he's still kicking. As long as someone stays alive, Toronto Defiant might be in a good spot. Although his health waning, but his spirit is not. Toronto Defiant, they do end up getting the checkpoint fights to gain the lead. Exactly. That's why this last fight was so important. Especially when you've got dueling blades on the board. Blades from although. He's looking for somebody in here so much, yet yeah, people just walking straight towards him. He wants that kill on the Lucio, but Hydron actually steps up, but steps too far. The knife is good. Can the blade from Checkmate be bigger? No, it cannot. Tisu shuts it down again. Another kill onto someone as Toronto Defiant have ults to spare. To the fight, they need to react. A rally might not be good enough. Checkmate goes pretty low, but so much yet the first casualty is Toronto Defiant march on forward. They want to take this to a map five. They want to do it in front of the home crowd. Hydron goes low. He's out of here. Although he's not letting him do anything. A little dance ain't going to save you. As Toronto take mayhem. They're still willing to fight. Even Hisu getting his hands a little bit dirty there. Diving down to Hydron's level. Even a beat force out for the Toronto to fight. They're still ready to go. But Hisu, only 200 HP. Is that overhealth got burnt away pretty fast? 95% of building. Toronto to find hitting the 99. That's so smart. Right now. Oh, check me. You have to use both abilities, and Hydra's already dead. 99% for Florida Mayhem as they still control the point. Big dynamite in the front line as RuPaul is burning alive. Has to peek around the corner to heal his Junker Queen. But Checkmate still trying to get on top of Hisu, but he's just left unhindered. The Florida Mayhem losing members. That dynamite here in Sermachet. And although's blade looking as good as ever. Working up to the first bomb of this round. Hydra's already low. Hydra's already down. You cannot be serious right now. You can't let him get away with this. Although he takes him to the cleaners. It's 40% online. This right now, so the front line isn't going to be as strong. Yeah, that rally could be big from Hopper. He unleashes it, it hits both the backline members of the Toronto to fight, but look how quickly the kills are coming up for the Florida Mayhem. It's absolute slaughter. Proven to work with the Junker Queen, but Toronto Defiant have one advantage right now, and that's going to be the rally from Twilight. There it is, it's coming out. Hisu disengaging, and a dynamite hits a lot. Someone falling pretty low, same with RuPaul, and he ends up going down to Orvo. Toronto Defiant are going to do it. Twilight with a double, Orvo with a double. An easy point flip. It's only checkmate. He's up, but he's away. The Toronto Defiant find the flip. Overtime's ticking down. Can anybody get back in time? No, they cannot. Toronto Defiant have done it. They stand defiant in the face of all adversity in front of their home crowd. They surge through the lower bracket to face the shock tomorrow.